Amber Williams, the late rapper Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend, has spoken out about his passing after finding his body at their Atlanta home on Thursday. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Williams claimed in a 911 call that TMZ was able to get that the previous evening, Kwan slept off on the couch. When she went back to check on him after dropping her son off at school, she discovered him was not breathing. His age was 34. This pain is unbearable, Williams began in a statement on her Instagram story on Saturday. The love you all have shown is an overflow. I truly appreciate everyone who's reached out. I'm traumatized from a moment that'll forever be in my head. I have nothing to prove because my love for my other half was always shown, I had nothing to hide. Please respect me and the family at this time. Our house is no longer a home. I'm completely heartbroken 15 years gone. I'll never be the same. This is a complete nightmare. We never could let go, but you didn't have to leave me like this. Hashtag numb. It's still unknown what caused Quan's formal death. He was supposed to have an autopsy on Friday by the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office, however, the findings are still confidential. His family released a statement stating they are shattered and heartbroken by his sudden death. Quan's father, Corey Lamar, also shared a post on Instagram in the wake of his son's death. He said was an unbearable pain and described himself as feeling like he'd been crushed to a million pieces. Social media users who knew rich homie Quan, including friends and music, have used the platform to share their sadness. One of these individuals was Erica Banks, but her homage ended up being much more complicated. Banks's old love and hip-hop, Atlanta co-star Akbar V made a clue regarding some previously unreleased information concerning Quan. She said that outside of the rapper's family, Quan and Banks had a secret connection. The whole thing started innocently enough. Erica posted photos of her and rich homie Quan with a heartfelt caption. I'm just glad we were able to enjoy some peaceful and memorable moments, Erica wrote. Akbar V quote tweeted Erica and proceeded to blow up her spot. She told Banks to delete those pics and videos out of respect for his family. Akbar V then went into more detail about rich homie Quan and Erica's relationship, alleging they had a long-standing connection. You was a secret, she added. And not saying what y'all shared was fake but certain stuff should remain a secret. Telling someone to keep a secret and then disclosing it to the entire world seems a little strange. But that is exactly what Akbar V did. Now that rich homie Quan is deceased, she warned Erica Banks to be cautioned while disclosing information. Here comes all the unwanted hate towards you that you didn't even know existed, she warned. Think before you do stuff lil one. Banks removed her initial post after Akbar V's warning. Whether the claims made by Quan are accurate is still up for debate. Although Erica's removal of the post raises some red flags, the love and hip-hop star and Akbar V have a tumultuous past. Perhaps all she wanted was to stay out of trouble with the rapper. Erica's termination from love and hip-hop, Atlanta was unrelated to Akbar V, however the two celebrities did argue frequently when they shared screen time. Quan's four children and girlfriend Amber Williams survive him. After the rapper passed away, Williams, who shared his two youngest children with him, made the crucial 911 call. I need an ambulance. Exactly when rich homie Quan's girlfriend dialed 911, TMZ has discovered that he was foaming at the mouth, unconscious, and without a pulse. Make you feel some type of way. The Atlanta rapper's girlfriend Amber Williams is distraught as she speaks with the operator on the emergency call we were able to receive on his passing. My boyfriend sleep on the couch this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. The girlfriend of rich homie Quan claims that after she arrived home from dropping her son off at school, she covered him with a blanket while he was still on the couch. She claims she flipped him over, causing him to foam at the lips, and she didn't feel a heartbeat or see him breathing. Rich homie Quan passed away on Thursday at his Atlanta residence, and the Fulton County morgue received his body. The family of rich homie Quan told us they were devastated and heartbroken by his untimely passing and that they were looking for answers. Although the cause of death is still unknown, the circumstances surrounding rich homie Quan's death are partially revealed by this new recording. The hip-hop community is reeling after RHQ's passing, and condolences are flooding in. Boosie just revealed that he spoke with Quan. Back in the day, rich homie Quan and young thug were the closest of friends. But, uh, but, uh, nigga, but, uh, nigga. All things considered, the two had some amazing collaborations, and people were constantly interested in what they had to give. Regretfully, they finally experienced a minor falling out. Fans were consequently dissatisfied and left wondering what may have been. Rich homie Quan, meanwhile, was formerly listed as a witness in the YSL RICO trial and has since been connected to it. Rich homie Quan was mentioned in court yesterday. The prosecution actually asked Lil Woody a question regarding RHQ as a result of this, and it was a fantastic moment that ended with him asking Thug the same thing. Not only did Thugger laugh heartily, but so did his attorney, Brian Steele. In the meantime, RHQ was questioned in an interview published by academics over Woody's purported role in the shooting incident, 
at an Atlanta barbershop that left his father injured. The incident was also referenced in a rap song called Daddy. Wealthy brother the question seemed to upset Quan quite a bit. He asserted that Woody is lying and distorting the truth. What is a liar? The barbershop did get shot up with. Even though he didn't want to go into specifics. Quan thinks the YSL witness is making things up and that the barbershop wasn't even open at the time of the shooting. The YSL RICO trial will get forward today. Little Woody has been on the stand for weeks, and hardly any, if any, progress has been made. In response to Lil Woody's remarks on her during the ongoing YSL RICO trial, Akbar V shared a screenshot of what appears to be direct messages between the two of them. During his testimony, Brian Steele, the lawyer for Young Thug, showed Woody an image of Akbar and called her dirty as hell back in the day. Woody acknowledges in the direct messages that he lied about her. This why I want never argue with the internet cause if you know you know, Akbar captioned the screenshot. In the messages, Woody seemingly wrote, I love you ain't mean no harm and asked why she's feeding into the false narrative. Before posting the DMs, Akbar had gone on a rant about the situation on X Woody you one lying ass NA, she wrote in one post with a number of laughing emojis. You know damn well I never was around you me and you never even like each other you just sitting on that damn stand lying on me. When was me and you ever around each other? As I recall when me and Thug fell out you never was nowhere around me and the messed up part is you know this when I just heard the call so she said my name you didn't tell her my name until she said it to you you wanted to say anybody name why not? The person who was beefing with Thug you one sick individual and a follow up. She added, you saying I was dirty and I know you was dirty you and our people as I recall how was I dirty when I was outside in Gucci in 2015 let's run picks back. Woody has been making headline after headline in recent days for his testimony in the trial.